In this video, I would like to show you how you can use TradingView to calculate your position size for you really easily. So the way that you do that is that you use the long position tool if you're going long, and the, or the short position tool if you're going short. Just place that tool on the screen and then you can adjust your risk. So this is where I would like my stop loss to be under this low right here and maybe give it a little bit of headroom. And now I'm going to place my take profit at a risk to reward ratio of two. Risk to reward ratio two. So that means that if the trade makes it up to here, we will win 17.5%, or if we lose the trade, we will lose at 8.75%. If you double click this tool, you will be able to enter the account size that you have. And then you can just enter how much percentage of the account size that you want to be risking. And a typical figure is one to 2%. So, um, depending on how confident you are about your trade, you can go between zero and 2% usually. So I'm going to put in, let's say I'm really confident about this trade. I'm not actually going to take this trade. Uh, it's not even a good trade, but uh, let's say I, I am very confident about this trade. So I put in 2%. So that would be $500 of risk on the red area. And since I have a risk to reward ratio of two, I would be making $1,000 if it makes it all the way up to the target. So my um, so what I can see now is that I can buy 58 stocks to, um, to have this risk. If I set my stop loss at 88.72, I will be risking $500 if I buy 58 stocks. So that's really good to know. So now we're going to be automatically entering this trade into the paper trading account of TradingView. So let's open that the trading panel. And once you have that open, you need to connect up your paper trading account if you haven't already done so. So these are all the brokers that TradingView has available for you. So if you have any of these brokers, you can trade live money inside TradingView but we're not going to be trading live money. We're just going to practice. So we're going to use the paper trading account that comes bundled up with TradingView. So just connect that up. And now I have connected it. I can go to the reset paper trading account. Be warned, this will erase all your trading history in your paper trading account. So that's good to know. So let's enter a account size of $25,000 like that. So now I have $25,000 sitting in my account ready to be traded. And now I want to take this trade right here and enter it into TradingView for trading. So I right click on the position tool, uh, long position tool and create limit order. So once you have this dialog open, you can change the limit order type, the, the trading order type to stop order or market order if you wish. So this is just a, a shortcut to get all this data entered into this uh, uh, screen here. So the take profit has already been entered for me. So as you can see, we have a take profit of $114, so it's entered in here. So we will be buying 58 stocks and we'll be um, having a risk of almost $500 and that would be 2% of our account size. So I can just go ahead and place this order. And if we get filled, you will see the trade appearing under positions. Now, one thing to be mindful of is that, uh, let's cancel this trade is that right now I'm, I'm using US dollar in my account and I've entered US dollars here. So if you trade multiple uh, currencies, so let's go to a different country. Let's go to a Swedish stock. So now we are trading in Swedish kroner and there's about 10 Swedish kroner to a dollar. 
So let's put this tool in and let's risk 2%. And you can see that we have, it thinks that we're, we have 25,000 in our account, but we actually have 25,000 Swedish kroner in our account. So that's only one tenth of dollars. So it's actually $2,500. So if I were to enter this trade, I would be risking 500 kroner instead of $500. So what I have to do if I want to switch over to and use trade this stock as well, I would have to change that to 250,000 Swedish kroner. And now I have 1% I have to put in and then I'd be risking 2,500 Swedish kroner, which is about $250 roughly. So that's something to be mindful of if you trade different currencies. All right, I hope that helped. Um, let me know in the comments if you need any other tips and tricks regarding this. Thanks, bye.